My character, uh, his name is Andy Blonsky, and he's a cardiothoracic surgeon at a hospital in Pittsburgh called Three Rivers. And he specializes, as does the hospital, in transplant medicine and transplant uh, organ transplantation. And uh, it's he's based on a real-life character called Dr. Gonzo Gonzalez Dewinsky out of Cleveland, the Cleveland Clinic, uh, which is where I did all my studying and research for this role, and um, with Gonzo. And uh, the show. This show we tell from three different points of view. We tell it from uh, the point of view of the donor, the recipient, and my character in the medical team of Three Rivers. And so it's a medical show that I believe we haven't seen before. The fact that the core of the show, the heart of the show, if you will, is based in organ transplantation is not something that's been done on TV before. We may have seen glimpses of it, but really not the way we're doing it. And we are doing it with uh, the utmost integrity remaining intact uh, at all times for the truth of, 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 this, of this field of medicine. And of, you know, the other thing we're desperately trying to do is dispel all the misconceptions and myths around organ donation. And, you know, one of the main ones is you know, people are scared to become organ donors because they have heard that if anything ever does happen to them, doctors in hospitals won't try to save them because their organs are, are available, which is absolutely not true. And uh, I'm a spokesperson and ambassador now for Donate Life America, which is a great pleasure and a, and a great privilege, and they're an incredible organization. And so there's a, they have a website, donatelife.net, which uh, you can jump on and find out all sorts of information about the truth uh, about organ donation, about how important it is, about how many lives you can affect. You can actually save uh, up to eight lives and affect up to 50 by being an organ donor. And so, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, and I am, I am an organ donor. The clinic was a huge, the Cleveland Clinic was a huge part of my preparation and my time with Gonzo. I spent a lot of time with Gonzo on the phone before I got to Cleveland. I went to Cleveland a number of times and spent blocks of time there staying at the hotel which is connected to the hospital. Which is funny because in the, in the story my character lives in the hotel connected to the hospital because he's separated from his wife. Um, he's in a transitional phase of his life. Uh, but my preparation for this, I, from the minute I made the decision and said yes, uh, to, 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 to the job, I went into my research and preparation like a bull at a gate and I didn't stop. I actually still haven't stopped uh, because it's such a massive thing. Medicine is, it's like law or science. It's another language. It's another world away. These people train for 15 years before they can, you know, do what, what these guys do. And so uh, it's, it's, it's taken a lot. And there's a lot of, I live in textbooks, in medical textbooks and encyclopedias and and on the phone to my my uh, my friends who are surgeons and doctors, and just I'm forever learning, and there's just so much to learn. So I'm doing my best. I find it very interesting. I find I'm fascinated with medicine, and I'm I'm borderline obsessed with with this stuff. I mean, the thing is, there's medicine at this level. You know, uh, uh, surgeons. I, I just what they do is. Is, is incredible, it's so fascinating to me. I've spent a lot of time in the OR as well, like shoulder to shoulder with my man there, watching two feet away is, an, is, 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 a, is somebody's open chest and the heart pumping and the lungs breathing and and watching them go on uh, on bypass and, and then the surgeon comes in and does all this stuff. And I mean, it's it really changes, it's really changed my perspective on life, it really like, I mean, it really shifts the way you, you view life. To see how resilient we are on the inside as well as the outside of our bodies. And I mean, it makes you question faith and religion and whether this is in fact the second chance that we think we're gonna get after this life. And I mean, it's pretty, uh, it's, uh, it opens up a whole bunch of philosophical uh, debates. Mm -hmm.